I think it's a good budget. Uh, particularly, I think the government had a limited elbow space for uh, because of the fiscal uh, constraints. Uh, what they've done is they brought down the tax rates, which is good. At least, at least it'll spur demand and at least help us to grow GDP. Uh, they've also looked at some of the benefits to startups, particularly the ESOPs. ESOPs are not going to get taxed at the excise, but will get taxed at the exit or the sale of five years, which is a positive step. Again, for startups, whenever you set up new businesses, you don't start making profit in first five, six, seven years. And therefore, your accrued losses would disappear after seven years. Now they've extended to 10 years. Fiki wanted it to be for 15 years, but they have done it for 10 years. Again, this is a good thing. Infrastructure, they focused on it. Uh, and and, and they've, they've, they've talked about 105 lakh crore of infrastructure, which is a huge number. But I think yesterday, if you look at the economic survey, they did realize that lot of financing, even for the earlier, if you remember in July, Sita Raman, she talked about 100 and 105 lakh crore of, of infrastructure. And those projects also have a lot of constraint because banks are not funding it and financing. 70% of these projects come from debt and debt raising is very difficult. Corporates, uh, banks are not lending corporates. So that's a big issue. Again, these large targets, you have to really create bond markets. You have to create proper ecosystem where you can raise debt. I think that is something which has been missed out. And I think the government should think about it because really having targets of infrastructure, but not getting it done doesn't yield anything. And these infrastructure are very important. If you look at Oxfam Remote, Oxfam Report, which came out just on the, the eve of Davos, that it did mention that almost 1% of Indians own uh, more wealth than what almost a billion people own. And therefore, there is a requirement of creating productivity and skilling of people so that their, their, their investments and their, 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 their growth and their productivity and their, in, in, their income level goes up. And because of that, infrastructure funding is very, very important. And you have to really scale up the country so that people are more productive. And that is something which for which the government needs to raise capital. They've done a good thing that uh, at least for sovereign debt funds, they have said that if sovereign funds are investing into uh, India infrastructure and they have, they're holding equity for more than three years, there will be no long-term capital gain, which is a positive step. They've actually reduced withholding tax, which again is a positive thing. But I think the entire ecosystem needs to be done much more. And, and it has improved significantly since the IBC, where lenders can enforce right. But these are positive things. Again, I think one thing which is again very important, I think we all talked about ease of doing business, but a big part of our problem is the enforceability of contract. And India, we are very low. If you remember, India was at 142 on the, enforce, uh, on the ease of doing business. We, from there, we moved to 63. But we were 165 on enforceability of contract, and we are 163. We've barely moved in the last six years. And I think the judicial reform is a big part of the government. This was part of economic, uh, economic survey last year. It's been totally forgotten this year. This is an important thing, accountability of judges, accountability of judicial system, and, and making sure that people are disincentivized to litigate because it becomes a, a really a ground for disruptions, a ground for disobeying law, grounds for disobeying contracts. And I think it's a field day for people who are who wants to breach contract. I think unlike Glo Glo West, where if you are breaching a contract, you're very nervous because you have to pay through your nose. I think that ecosystem needs to be built in. And I think if once that happens, that will be a very, very big thing. I think overall it's a good budget. I, I, don't, I'm not, I don't know why market is down so badly. But again, uh, uh, maybe I'm not a market expert anyway. So I don't understand that. But it's a good budget. Hopefully, and also this is a budget, it's a rare budget, which is more like a four-year, two-year plan. It's a rarely in a budget. You talk about agriculture income going double, farmers income doubling. This is really like a three year, four year plan. It's more like a vision, more like a road, like a road map, and also what you will do in one year. So, overall, a good budget.